Hello. Topic so important as to marriage, to something, to being distinguished from other people based on our competences and to feel I had done a good work so I have earned a merit and so I'm somebody. And the opposite term, topic, if I hadn't done anything, can I just relax, can I go for a walk and have my free time? Can I? These old topics are discussed in the Gospel of today. We have one group of people. They expect to earn more than other people based on that what we they have accomplished. They put off, they showed off the competences. They were chosen as the first one. So maybe based on their physics, they were more strong based on the known competences of them. And so they want to earn more. Usually they would want earn only one dinner per day, but for them, the earned dana was not only the sign of a work done, but a sign of being better than other group of people. Can we see ourselves in that? How much of our work is done to do this work for themselves, for itself, for earning our everyday bread? And how much of the work is done only to show off our competences, how great we are, how good we are, and to show I'm better than other people. So this gospel is telling us something about our heart. And I would like to look on the another group of people, the one who, this group who received only one, um, walked only one, hour and earned one dinner. What is about them? How they feel about receiving one dinner? Is this a kind of, um, of almos? It's the kind of uh, receiving some money which I haven't, don't merit? Or they feel, okay, I'm loved. I have done all the possible which I could. I have, I was waiting for the job, 11 hour. I worked one hour, but I waited. I did what I could. And my marriage is not only my competences. My, my merit is because I'm a human. I'm loved by God. And so I merit what I received. There are two kinds of merit. Do I base my merit on my competences or I base my merit of being human on my heart? And so I think this, this gospel is also challenging our way to approach us to ourselves when we have walked enough for a day and we haven't managed to receive such results as we wanted to. Even then, we can have a take off. Okay, I now relax. I now have my time. I now walk. I now admire the beauty of the nature and do something because I'm human. So, this gospel could be commented even longer. But the question to you in which kind of the approach you find yourselves, where are your problems and what are your thoughts about that?